It's described as an urban street drama with a spiritual twist. There's a new book out. It's called Truth Love. Kay Brown is the author, and thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. You've had a little fun tonight, but we wanted everybody to know about your book. Tell us what it's all about. And I told him the character is named Truthiana Girl. Truthiana, yes. That's my main character's name. I love it. Truth Love is an urban thriller mystery Ooh. that's very relatable, but also fiction. Okay. It has a lot of twists and turns, and as you said, it has a spiritual twist to it. But you won't know exactly what the twist is until you get to the until you read the whole book. Oh. It's not predictable. I hate a predictable book. Me too. I hate and I it. love a good twist. And I have about five, six characters in my book head yeah. so they came out in the book and I'm like okay let me put these people on paper right. and describe who they are and everybody's asking me how you keep these characters in line yeah I don't know I just have multiple personalities that's all I could say <laughs> wait hey <Kay>, what <laughs> that's hilarious okay well tell us about Truthiana and what's happening to her in the story Truthiana she's fighting for independence first okay. of all she's from New Orleans she's right. based from, from New Orleans her grandmother dies and her her best friend her sister and her new boo moved to New York so she could have her own um company, okay. branch her own company. At the time, she thinking her new boo is someone that he says he is an A&R executive, but when she gets to New York and away from her family, she starts to see the real Kenneth. That's the name of her Kenneth, boo. Kenneth, okay. The real Kenneth comes out controlling, abusive, and his secrets come out about what his life really is. He's not Ooh. an A&R exec. Let me just say that. Okay, he lied. He lied. Mm. Like, well, he lies like anybody else. But in the end, she finds her way back to her sanity mm -hmm. and gets her mind back right and she works on her spiritualness but she doesn't know at the time that she's working on her spiritualness because she's going through the worldly changes so once she gets to the spiritual part of it she's like okay i can do this i can leave i can do what i need to do for myself yeah but there's always a twist there's always a always good twist. A twist and you have to read it to find out uh, we're gonna read it did it have uh, um, any inspiration from a real person and i know people write for fiction but you gotta pull from somewhere it has loosely inspiration by certain people in my lives. Okay. Um, it's not based on anyone in particular, yeah. though. Yeah. But it is inspired by certain people in my lives that went through certain incidents, and I draw from them, and I get inspiration from them. Right. Also, I realized that when I wrote the book, I didn't find my love for writing until college. Mm. So once I wrote the book, and then Hurricane Katrina came, and I came back home, and one of my friends saw, they started off as episodes, really, short okay. stories. My, one of my friends saw, and she was like, you need to make this book, make this into a book. Oh. So I did. And that's what happened, how that's Truth so came That's so cool. So in. it's something you've been working on for a while now. Yes. Well, good for you. And this is your first book. Yes. But this is going to be a series. So tell us what's next for it. I have two more coming out. I don't have the exact names for them yet. Okay. But the spinoff from the third, once you get to the third book, you would get the whole picture of the twist. Yeah. You have to get all three in order to understand the twist of the book and the spiritualness behind it. Well, I it never... sounds like a juicy one. Thank you. All right, so who should be reading this? Is this like the, the book you take to the beach? Is this what you read on vacation to relax? Or what is it perfect for? Everyone. I like it. Ages between 18 and up. OK. I, because they, they got some scenes in there? They got some scenes in there. <laughs> so 18 and up, I'm not trying to get sued. I don't want you going in your mama's room. We got sneaking you. Sneaking it. But 18 and up, they should be reading it. Okay. And I also like to use this as a stepping stone to help the youth, the young ladies especially um, in New Orleans area, because when I did come back from Katrina, I started working with a lot of young girls mm -hmm. that just used to come talk to me about their problems. Yeah. And I used to tell them, go write it down in a journal. Get you a journal. Yeah. Since you can't talk to no one, or get you a good book to read. So I also like to do that with this book as well, because they'll come back to me and be like, oh, that uh, advice you gave me of writing down, it really helped me. Yeah. So, you know, I That's saw the wonderful. difference in You've it. You've got a purpose there and a juicy good story. Yes. We can't wait to read this one. Thanks for being with us tonight, Kay. Make sure you guys follow Kay Brown on Instagram. She's at real underscore K underscore Brown. And on Twitter, you can look for real Kay Brown. Well, forget Netflix and chill. It is summertime. It's time for grill and chill. We've got some tips to upgrade your summertime meals after the break.